two. And one, Bing Bing, we're live. It is uh, the Kent Beck, uh, if I've started the right scrum. Uh, hopefully it's Kent Beck. Have we actually had a notification in the thing? It looks like we have, and it does say Kent Beck, so that's right. It's Sam, Panit, and Michael. And uh, yes, uh, Gar, yeah, what has been going on? Um, yeah, lots and lots. Um, let's just go and, uh, oh, and, and Nick is here. Uh, should we start with Puneet, actually? Puneet, any, anything to update for us? Puneet, are you there? If not, then I guess... Oh. Hello? Hello, Puneet. Yeah, anything to, anything to tell us? Anything to update? No, not much progress on that site. So nothing to update so far. No, okay. I guess it sounds like you, you might not make my progress for a little while. We'll, we'll see. Uh, yes, yes, yes. It's, it's been a while, actually. Yeah. Well, is it, and I guess it's just you're busy at work and you're busy doing, you know, sort of following the move. So, yeah, you know, absolutely. Time. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's let's check in with uh, with Nick. Nick joined Michael and myself in the, in the pairing session. Nick, uh, any, you know, it's kind of ironic to have a, a scrum when you and I and Michael have all just been doing the same thing, but. Uh, Anything else to report? Uh, any 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 observations on uh, our pairing activities? I don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I, it's clear to me that there is a lot of work, and uh, and some of the part of the work is actually is not uh, you specifically dealing with implementing the feature, but you trying to uh, manage um, how to say it correctly. The, there is a lot of code in in a different part of the application, mm -hmm. and uh, some of them has uh, some of those parts has a different state, and y you have to uh, to be sure that uh, the um, feature is implemented in across all these aspects of the different mm -hmm. application. That's all. Yes, indeed. This. Mm -hmm. Yes, indeed. Um, yeah. So, uh, interesting observation. And any, what, what are you, what are your plans now? Are you available for pairing now? Are you, you uh, thinking of working on something? What's your, what are you thinking of doing next? Uh, uh, first of all, I was thinking about uh, try to uh, mm, try to come up with uh, maybe possible designs of, uh, for mm -hmm. a for system. Mm. Uh, you talked about you know, maybe there is some uh, possibility to add some uh, filtering features or something like that, make uh, working with event system more easy to. to mm. Yes, yes, I, I think I think certainly, and and doing um, yeah, wireframes of alternate possible designs is is a great idea, and I think yeah, showing them to um, you know other existing existing users. We've got a special time at the moment where we've got a lot of um, users using the system, and I think to the extent that we can connect with them and, you know, m try to improve their experience, that's going to be really helpful. Maybe there is some work that you would like me to do? Well, that's maybe we can have a discussion about that at the end of the of the, the, the Scrum. Um, let's just go on to... So, uh, Michael, would you care to summarize uh, your experiences today? <laughs> you're, you're very good at doing it in uh, short form. Uh, we finished up refactoring the cucumber scenario surrounding the time zone change and we uh, have a pull request outstanding on that along with moving JSTZ Indeed. In repo. Uh, you might want to look at it because it looks like it I pushed that change oh yeah it failed uh, but it looks like it failed because of Ruby gems. Okay, I was also up to, out of date with the base branch as well, which I've just I've kicked off a sync, and that should kick off another build. And uh, okay, we'll see. Okay, cool. Yes, and that's that's a, that's pleasing to uh, get that to where it is. Um, as I was just saying before the the scrum started, um, of course it's generated you know a list of even further things we'd like to clean up, but. Uh, yeah, good. To, good to get to that that point. Uh, interestingly, before that, uh, we also did one other thing, which we quickly got out of the way, uh, which is that we got another pull request that's actually been merged in already, uh, which is hiding the GitHub sign up uh, public uh, specific message. Sorry, that's the 
that's Nitisha started on that. Yeah, disabling the G plus signups uh, while it doesn't work by hiding it. Um, yeah, and I've started to. It's. Uh, I think this is like closely tied to, you know, the whole flow through the site. Like I've got. Um, why is it saying no description given there? We're, we're, what we were just taking into account some of the other bits and pieces uh, of issues over the weekend with quite a lot of new signups um, and and sort of pulling them in and updating this this epic. Um, so yeah, that's I guess that's sort of the the scrum. I mean, the the other thing I, I'm. I managed to roll the certificate, the level one certificates for the AV102 project. That code base is not in a good state. Um, yeah, looking forward to a week uh, with not having too many distractions and getting a lot of coding done. I feel very, I feel very pleased with the progress that we've made today, and I, I really appreciate um, Nick's input. And uh, you know, as always, uh, it's great working with you, Michael. Um, I guess that's the end of the scrum. We've got some. I've got a bit of time now. I guess what we might try and you know, we, we could try and just, like, knock a couple of things out now. I know, Michael, you're kind of really irritated by the, um, the what is it called, the screenshot things dumping on that. That's, like, should be able to fix in a minute or two. There's also triaging that um, <coughs> Saudi Arabia um, time zone thing. Um, I, I, I wonder, that the, the thing that's on my mind is about, uh, particularly since Nick is kind of available and thinking about, is talking about... Prioritization and then maybe should we, should we leave that for the kickoff on Friday and just get a couple of things done? Can okay. I ask a question? Go ahead, Nick. Uh, you, um, I don't know. Remember? Uh, maybe you remember we have talked about that you uh, have uh, uh, plans that to do to move uh, some of the JS code to the framework like React or Ember. Can you mm -hmm. talk about that? Uh. I could. I think I'm not going to do it right now because I think that's something that we we, we want to you know overall we want the whole project of website one to be more maintainable, you know, to be up with the latest standards. Mm -hmm. um, but I think the bigger challenge for us at the moment is making sure that the whole agile ventures process is sustainable. Um, I mean, it's wonderful to be having new people like yourself coming in, look, I've got a new guy here asking about the order graders, um, you know, we've got new people joining, uh, you know, website one there and uh, coming in and, and so on. I, the, the the challenge is at the moment, it, it, you know, we, we've signed up a couple of premium members, which is contributing to paying the bill. Like, at the moment, you know, we pay a certain amount of money to run mm -hmm. the Agile Ventures site every month, and... At the you know until we had these two premium members, that was just coming out of my my personal pocket, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm kind of you know uh, living off my savings at the moment. So I'm very I'm very and 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 I can do that for another uh, if I'm lucky I'm, I can do it for the rest of the year. We will see. Um, but what I'm really keen to do is to move it so that this is you know stable. That there's revenue coming in that allows me to keep on devoting as much time. As I can, and ultimately to you know start paying more and more people to get involved in maintaining uh, website one because you know I think as a pure open source project, I, I I'm skeptical that it can be you know have a have a long term future mm -hmm. because managing all the people coming through and so on I, I don't maybe the problem is me is that I just put too much time into people and into things but so. Uh, that's why I was drawing your attention to uh, this discussion in uh, AV Community Talk, uh, where it seems to me that the, you know, much as I would love to be, be spending time uh, reflecting on, you know, using React versus Ember, the the critical thing is, you know, how can we bring in revenue for uh, for Agile Ventures, and the the two approaches are that we've got, you know. Agile Ventures or Premium directed at individual developers, and we've got this, um, you know, showcase agileventures.org, this new site which we've got uh, directed at, um, at charities. We've got a meeting tomorrow morning with uh, Charles, who's keen to become our head of sales and marketing, uh, and start seeing if we can get people 
you know, paying paying money for us to develop software. Um, I, I think I'm going to take quite a different tack with him. So I, I think we need to, I think we need to release this. You know, he's he's sort of a big still a big planner. We need to I think we need to release this. We need to um, you know. Anyway, I'll, I'll talk more about that tomorrow. Uh, but so as I say, the reason I draw your attention to this discussion here is we've got some great feedback from uh, Free Ranger and uh, Piotr there about the existing offering in the 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 you know of the the premium thing that I think uh, I mean you you guys may or may not be so interested in that but like the the big picture of the project of like you know everything that we we do it's kind of like the way to make to choose which things we focus on which things we work on it comes back to how can we make the whole thing sustainable so mm. yeah the I, I, what I'm driving towards is is I, I want to, you know, remove parts of the site that are not really necessarily helping us. I mean, like articles, I, I do see that there's, you know, a fair number of people. There's, a, there's an RSpec article in there that still seems to get quite a lot of, like, this, this, I think Yarrow's article here gets quite a lot of hits. People are interested in looking at that. Um, but there, is a, this, there is exist other resources where you can pull this article. Yeah, ab the, absolutely. So my, my angle is that I, that I proposed in the... Um, Kickoff uh, after Michael left on Friday was that we should maybe replace articles here with the premium as a tab, and that this would then become the premium thing, and we would start trying to promote the premium as a, as a way forward. Uh, but I think in order for that to be successful, well, it it certainly makes sense to at least reflect upon. Uh, you know, I, I, I'm not particularly impressed myself with the layout of this page or necessarily the layout of the offering. Um, anyhow, I guess, so, you know, one could be thinking about, you know, is it projects, is it epic events or what have you. I guess, though, that's maybe more, uh, that, that broader topic of conversation, we can push off to the, um, the kickoff retrospective at the end of the week, and maybe we could just in the next 20 minutes try and kick out a couple of things. Um, Michael, do, do we want to do the... Um, Get rid of the the screenshot things because that's irritating you. Yeah, you want to lean on that. Uh, yeah, could you? Okay. Uh -huh. Um, happy either way. Uh, but yeah, that should be pretty pretty fast. I hope. Um, so the issue here, I think you, cre you created an issue for it, for it, didn't you, Michael? Um, maybe I think so. I don't know. So. Um, so I'm going to develop there. That minus B. Yeah, so many things going on in my mind. This is okay, but I think let's let's get a couple of more things done. I should have to stay on, stay focused. Okay, it's there. I just need to know the issue number. Uh, 1088 puke fail screenshots are falling on route. Uh, move puke screenshots back to temp. Okay. So so I think what we need in order for that to happen is we just need in our config. Yeah, for Capybara. Now this is uh, this is actually config for Capybara. Do we have a is there actually a temp directory? There is a temp directory there. Temp directory with a Capybara subfolder. Guys, I need to go. Bye. Oh. Okay, Nick, thanks. Yeah, sorry yeah. we couldn't have a longer conversation there. Feel free to ask me any other Questions in Slack, and uh, you know, I'll try to follow up as best I can. But Michael and I, are, are, we, are you free most days this week, Michael? Yeah. Yeah. So we'll be pairing approximately the same times, Nick, and uh, be very happy to see you if you're around. Okay. Okay. Great. Yeah. So, see you again. Bye. Thanks very much. Bye for now, Nick. Um, Sam, uh, I'll drop off as well. Okay. No worries, buddy. Good to see you. Take care. Sure. I would put a forward slash capybara. Would you? Well, forward slash capybara.
because there's a capybara subfolder you know, under temp. Is there already? Like already is, yeah. Okay, cool. And uh, if the, you call your, do you have any things showing up on your route right now? Yep. So the thing is, in order for them to generate, we need to um, fail. Fail something. Uh, I mean, I guess I can just run. I, I guess from the develop, I should also be checking the latest code also goes on there. Is something going to fail? Maybe or maybe not. I guess I was going to use the time that that takes to do it to just triage the rest of them. The, well, this, the particular other, the, just to have a look at this Saudi Arabia time zone issue. So I guess if we like, so he's saying that the um, event creation detects his time zone correctly. So that implies the JSTZ, which is currently in, his, in the site, is working for him. But we have some other mechanism in the show part of the system that is um, using a different, yeah. Yeah, it's a different library. And he's ending up in Atlantic Standard Time, which is, what does Atlantic Standard Time actually correspond to? That's like, yeah, AGC minus four. That's the time zone that you're in. Oh. And what's the um, what's the mechanism that we're actually using in the show page? What is this events show clock roar? We've got show local time. Local time. Local time. And that, I think, is that a gem that we have? Yeah. I have a local time gem. Local time gem. And I wonder. Oh, right, it's actually from the base camp people. So does that sort of imply that it's a bug with this, with, with that? I mean, presumably it's using some JavaScript, right? Well, we don't know what it's actually doing, right? Well, it renders this time element, and huh. then it has some JavaScript which um, like converts it. Those are the coffee script there. And presumably something in here is working out. I mean, this is using some. I mean, it, it, in principle, it wouldn't be hard just to rewrite it. Yeah. A new approach using moment, right? Yeah, indeed. I just wonder here if anybody else has. No one's mentioned the Saudi Arabia issue. Um, let's go back and over here. Cukes is still running. Hmm. I, I guess it's it's difficult for us to. So he's on Windows and he's using Chrome. Uh, okay, that's a good point, isn't it? So, because I, I I get the sense from looking at this code here, that it's kind of, it's like creating a date, and then it's kind of parsing the zone out of it. Do you know what I mean? Right. Because it's, it's like, the, its mechanism for time zone detection is to create the date, and then do this. And then, what does it do to match up? I mean, it's, oh, it's just relying on. Well, I. 
So like parse time zone, it's like just pulling out the three letter three letter what's it from there. And what's it matching it against? I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure where the entry point is. I mean, it seems to be calling past time zone here from This is called from time there, time to string, strift time, time. Where does it first get? Everything is called from the end. Time lapse, does it actually start from the bottom? There we go. Okay, public API, local time, run. See, it seems wrong. Uh, do you go to Japan soon? In about six weeks. Okay. Okay, so we got a failure. Yeah. And there are no more screenshots in the route. Um, and if I look at your temp, oh, well, and in fact, should it tell me that there is, when it fails, does it? There are lots of screenshots in there. I guess. I don't know if they were just recently created. Uh, but I can see the timestamp of the latest one was created moments ago. Uh, and it's called screenshot rather than Kevlar. So that looks like it's having the effect that we want. Right. So, uh, okay. So, um, um, sets capybara screenshots to jump into temp slash capybara push origin one zero eight eight. Um. Request All right, so Okay, so that's that's in That's in play um, So can we look at where This actually calls this JavaScript library where the app calls it well I think it doesn't call no, it damn so it's bundled with right right but also what it does is it creates oh. like a um, a new HTML element so we've got it in in here from this kind of it's concealed by the helper but basically we've got like a this local time thing, it ends up generating, uh, as it's described in the readme for, for here, and I've kind of seen it. it, it creates like a time element. So, so we're using this helper, and then it, like, it creates this, and then when the DOM loads, like the JavaScript, basically finds the time thing and you know does some right. date parsing and then updates this appropriately yeah and it, it seems like the it's the mechanism that it's using to, to, to detect things is it just takes the time and then it finds the three letter zone element and then it decides what it's going to do yeah and and then it selects based on that. So uh, I, I suspect that the comment here uh, 
that they, these things have to be the same is the source of the problem. I mean, it seems that... Um, a bug in their jam, right? But, yeah, so I'm tempted to open an issue here and say um, um, confusion between... Mention, uh, This is base camp? Yeah. Huh. Um, possible that uh, the local time gem may confuse some time zones, for example, for the standard time with AST. Um, See for more details. Um, any idea if there is a quick fix? Oh, I, th I think you're you're right. That well, we could replace. I mean the the. We could effectively do what this gem does. Much with more moment. Yeah. Say, say again. We can do it with moment. Yeah, we can do it with moment and, and magic. Yeah, um, I guess that's something I'm not tempted to start doing right now. And uh, yeah, not right, not right this moment. But, yeah. Uh, I think also people are are moving away from the. The whole uh -huh. people are. I think people are moving away from the whole like gems bundled with magical JavaScript thing. Or yeah, uh, we could uh, a while now. Mm. Because really, the JavaScript development is going on in Node. Right. That's where all the people that right. A lot of JavaScript mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, these days. Sure. So if you want to leverage their libraries. Right. Well, there's nothing there's nothing in principle that prevents a gem from leveraging NPM libraries, is there? No, but you have to then think it's like a it's more com it's more convoluted. More complicated because then you have to package yeah that npm library with the gem yeah and like yeah it, it, npm it, it, moves much faster than the gem world mm -hmm. yes indeed so yes well it, it, it's um I think the thing to do is to, as we've done, is create an issue. I would be surprised if they mention it. I mean, the the interesting thing will be tomorrow is we, we could we could start working on on this and um, getting moment to, to do that. The interesting question, I guess, at this point, having finished that bit of refactoring and got the the, I mean, the the time zone, you know, being able to set your own time zone. I was kind of seeing that as the key element that we, you know, there, there's clearly like we could go on doing this. So the question that now is, what's the next thing? And maybe well, you're gone. Uh, independent of that, I could work with Marion, maybe. Oh yeah, um, totally. Yeah. Hot bog. Yeah, if you if you want to knock knock the knock knock um, I mean that's. You know, uh, in the in the bigger picture, yeah. With with um, if we're get, getting more people involved, you know, little, little issues can just be tidied up and uh, and knocked off. Um, anyway, so yeah, maybe maybe uh, rather than me further waxing lyrical about what to do or not to do tomorrow, uh, perhaps we should wrap it up there. Unless there's anything else to work out. 
I mean, is there anything else that would be higher than that as a well? The, the thing to do if we if Marion wants to if Marion were to work with me. Yeah, I mean, I think you could to totally work on that. In, in my mind, like if I'm thinking about tomorrow, um, the not for us to do, like no, oh, for 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 you and Marion to do. In general. Oh, in in, in general, the major. Is that something we'd like to get fixed right away? Yeah, it would definitely be a great thing to have fixed because, again, in this case, you know, there's one person reporting this, but this is potentially going to be confusing for a lot of people. Yeah, a, a range of a range of users, um, and so yeah, it would be definitely, you know, nice to have this not an issue. Uh huh. Um, I mean, in, in my mind, the other things competing with it are, you know, related to making the GitHub login smoother and so on but yeah th there's not there's not much in it there that they're, they're both things that kind of should be addressed if possible okay yeah cool but i was going to say yeah t tomorrow uh i might be tempted to switch uh to work on the static side to get like a i, I have a feeling there's like a couple of things that we can do and we could actually go with a limited launch like ahead of whatever Charles is thinking of doing. What would that launch actually mean? Uh, it would mean sending it the. It would mean sending out the showcase thing to like, Mer our, like the, our our kind of user community, like Rachel. Uh, yeah, and and um, you know, Ra Rachel. I think the people on the um, Agile Ventures site who were signed up. I've got like a. Oh, what's it called? Mailchimp mailing list uh, oh. for them. Uh, I added, you know, I, I'm possibly yeah, even like showing it to a few uh, other. I have a, like a list of other charity people that we could be going to, um, that we could be getting feedback from. Uh, what about the guide? Well, that that's what I'm thinking. Like, like it seems to me, like the guide is something that. Charles is very keen on, right? Uh -huh. We could, in order to launch this, extract this data here to be, you know, whatever it is the tagline, and this would say, you know, stay updated, uh -huh. Uh -huh. right? And yeah. not mention the guide in the first instance, right? And we could still be people signing up for this, and 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 you know, seeing if people are interested in it before we have the guide. Like, I mean, from my point of view, right, 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 right. Anyway. Uh, and then similarly, like there's all this stuff of like Charles wanting to get everything agreed. This could be dried out, and we could say to discuss your software product needs, email sales at agileventures dot org. Uh -huh. And yeah. you know, like it feels to me like we could spend like an hour and a half and have this ready to show to you know twenty charities that I know and you know five hundred users or a thousand users in agileventures and start getting you know and see how many people. Email sales at adventures.org and how many people click through on this and what other comments we get. And that would make the whole process much more agile. Right. All right. Well. Anyway, so that's that's my idea for what to work on tomorrow afternoon. Your morning, obviously. Okay. Cool. Yeah, well, I think I might just spend 10 minutes dealing with emails and things. Um, have a great rest of your day, and, and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Again, I'll try. I've got a meeting at Charles. Yeah, and I'll try and be on time for our uh, pairing activities. All right, cool. Bye. Bye for now.